Well, I think Harold's governed a bit by the shiftiness of the wind. I mean, that's obviously clear. Um, and uh, sure, I'm sure there's some frustration out there. But um, as I said, we um, uh, the, the other thing that makes it a little harder is the you know obviously the day off uh, the following day, um, and and I'm sure that's something that's tough for Harold as well. You know, I'm sure uh, as an example, yesterday probably could have been a good race day. Um, was a good race day. But, you know, I mean, that's uh, that's what Harold's got to deal with. It's not an easy job. And, um, as I said, you know, I, I think it's the right man for the job. You, you think there'll be match racing in the pre-stop? Well, the stuff we've done, we've done a bit on the, on the 60s, you know, in Lorient. Um, we've done some in the extreme 40s, Formula 18s, and it's the same game. You know, it's it's the same as the as the monohulls. However, with this this series, the start line is quite a lot bigger, um, so that may limit what can actually happen, especially if the wind's light. You know, but I don't know. I mean, I, honestly, it's uh, it's exciting because you know we're both going to find out as soon as we can race. And th there's been a lot of talk uh, around and about about the boats potentially splitting, big diff big uh, big splits up the race course. Do you really see that that's likely? I do, in a way. I do. Um, I think just because of the speed differences, you know, and the accelerations, that um, we're so used to, I guess, a long periods of time away in the version 5 boats, but the separations are relatively small. But if you're sailing, you know, over 20 knots upwind, um, just five minutes on a different tack, then it's, it's going to be a significant amount of distance. Valencia is a good place for racing. I think that's obvious um, with what we've seen in the past, and I, I think it's no secret that it's going to be there'll be some challenges with um, with the weather, you know, during this period. That said, though, we've had since we got here in um, in January, we've had some fantastic days out there, and I mean, it's a little bit that, that's what you deal with with this sport, you know, any sport that deals with weather, you know. I mean, you look at the surfing world tour; they've got to deal with the swell patterns. I mean, we're, um, it's, it's just something we've got to deal with. And I think, though, the two boats we've got, where we're at, we do, want to, we do want fair racing. And I think everyone in here would agree with that. We want some fair racing um, and some good conditions. And it's, um, you know, it's, it's no one's fault. It's not Harold's fault. It's, it's um, I mean, that's the weather. Yeah, good question. It, Friday looks good now. Um, it's typically pretty tough to predict more than, oh, I would say, 24 hours in Valencia. And I, th I think if you spoke to either, you know, meteorologist, they agree with that. But at the moment, Friday looks good. Um, but yeah, we're just going to have to wait till we get closer because it can it can change very very quickly. Yeah, well, I, I can't comment on a lingy, but um, like I said, we're, we're we're ready to go. You know, we want to race, um, and uh, you know, we'll just have to wait and see. I think it was a shame because I think this morning we probably could have um, got the boats going. But it's, as I said, it's, it's just so easy for me to sit here and say that. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, Harold's the guy that's got to make the decision. And I know he's trying to create the best possible race course he can for us. And I think fair enough. You know, it's, um, it's only two or three races. So it's, um, you know, like I said, we probably could have gone at 10 o'clock. We didn't. Look, it's Harold's call and I'm fine with that.